Just over the Trumbull County line in Wyndham, a nonprofit that helps people who are recovering from substance abuse get back on their feet just acquired a huge new facility to expand their operations in Portage County. Here to tell us all about it is Hopetown, Ohio's Chief Executive Ted St. John. Thank you for being here, Ted. Thank you. Yes, tell us a little bit about Hopetown and your mission. What are some of the programs that you offer, especially for families that are looking for programs for their loved ones? Well, uh, our mission is that we believe everyone's recovering from something. Uh, we believe that people recover and our purpose is to inspire others to improve their lives so that they may go on to inspire others to do the same. I'm a person with lived experience. I'm a little over 15 years in recovery. Um, I've gone through this. I spent my lifetime battling this as it got worse. Uh, I was able to get some help and part of my recovery is, you know, finding purpose and meaning. And uh, so I've spent the last 13 years doing just that. So what we do is we have a um, more like a, a nonprofit service that provides a recovery ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So what that means is there's some primary needs that people have when they start to make when they make this decision, right? So they need housing, they need employment, they need transportation, they need recovery supports. And that's what Hope Town does. So we provide those types of recovery supports. And we mentioned your new facility, Ted. What are the plans mm -hmm. in store for your new building? Well, we have in Sunny Wyndham, we have um, a men's recovery house, 18 bed men's recovery house, and a 13 bed female recovery house. Uh, so just down the road in the center of town, we bought the old police station, fire station, medical office. And we're going to move our headquarters there for administration. We're going to have a space for all of our peer supporters to work out of to provide peer recovery supports. Um, and what I'm super proud of and super excited is our workforce initiative. We do a social enterprise and it's called Hope on Wheels. And we've given over 15,000 rides. And about five of those, 5,000 of those rides have been to places to help people support and recover. The others are to medical appointments wow, and, and treatment. And you have that mechanic shop in there as well. What can you tell us yeah. about that? You need volunteers too, right? Yeah, so um, Hope on Wheels, we've, we're now we've got the old firehouse, right? So we're going to uh, run in there Monday and we're going to set up a private auto clinic. So a full service auto shop and we're gonna have a training institute. And what that's gonna mean is we're gonna be able to hire people in recovery, give them a safe, so, a safe, sober environment to work out of, give them a job and give them training and pay them to take the training to get their ASC certifications to become technicians all the way up through master mechanic. Wow. I'm, I can't be more excited about that. Yeah, it sounds like you're doing a lot of new initiatives. And whenever we talk to the mental health and recovery officials in our area, they always mention we need more beds. We need more facilities for people to recover and go through this type of assistance when they're battling addiction. Um, you're also asking for donations from the community for this new facility to yeah. get it ready to go. Uh, I've been to Wyndham a few times and, you know, it's not very far away and you're nearby. So where can people do the donations and can they do it online? Yeah, they can at www.hopetownohio.org. There's a place there that a safe, secure place to donate. Um, so we need donations uh, to help us complete this building. It's an old building. Uh, we've, we've got a lot of work to put into it to get it to where it needs to be. And there's also a space that we want to renovate to create a recovery community center. Um, so that and we're doing some volunteer hours. So on our website and also our Facebook page, um, we've got a link to where you can sign up for volunteers and kind of say, hey, this is what I, I can help with cleaning, I can help with organizing, or I'm big and tough and I can help with moving. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for having me.